To balance this equation, aluminum nitrate plus barium hydroxide, let's count the atoms up on each side. And we need to recognize this is a double displacement reaction. The aluminum and the barium, they're switching places. So we end up with not aluminum nitrate, but aluminum hydroxide. And the barium, that goes with the nitrate, so we get the barium nitrate, double displacement. With these double displacement reactions, we'll use a little trick to make it a lot easier to balance. So let's count the atoms up. We have one aluminum, and then this NO3, it's called the nitrate group. It's right here, and it's over here again. So we're just gonna say this is one item. So we have one times three, so we have three nitrates. This makes it much easier to balance. One barium, and OH, we have it here, stays together in the reaction. We have it here. So we just say we have one times two, so we have two hydroxides. So you see, this is really kind of neat, it makes it a lot easier to look at the numbers. On the product side, we have one aluminum, one times two, so two nitrates, one barium, and then one hydroxide times three. So right off, this one's a little challenging because we have odd and even number and then an odd and an even number. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'll take and try to make this nitrate an even number. So I'm gonna put a two in front of it. So I have the one nitrate times three, three of these times two, that'll give me six, and the two it applies to everything, so I have one aluminum times two, that'll give me two of those. But now I can come over on this side, I can put a three in front of my barium nitrate. So I have the one nitrate here times two, so two nitrates times three, that'll give me six nitrates. That's a lot easier. I do have one times three for the bariums though. So now I have three bariums. Let's just balance the barium. We have three here and one here. So we'll put a three in front of the barium hydroxide. So we have one hydroxide times two. So the two of those times three, that gives us six. And then one times three, that gives us three barium. That also balanced the barium. So the bariums are good. Looks like we need to get this to be six. If we put the two as our coefficient in front of aluminum hydroxide, I have one times three, three hydroxides times two. That'll give me six, one aluminum times two. That'll give me two. And now this equation is balanced. So it's actually kind of a difficult equation to balance. And if you counted each individual oxygen and each individual nitrogen, it would be even more difficult to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AlNO3 3 plus BaOH2, aluminum nitrate and barium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.